Doug, state officials say by the end of October, over 70% of New Mexicans who receive the Pfizer vaccine will be able to get a booster shot. The booster shot rollout is in full effect. Refusal to get vaccinated has cost all of us. And I'm moving forward to vaccination requirements wherever I can. On Friday, the CDC announced recommendations for certain groups to receive a booster shot of the Pfizer vaccine at least six months after their second shot. Groups include people 65 and older in long-term care facilities and those 50 to 64 with underlying medical conditions who should get a booster. But the CDC didn't stop there. Americans 18 to 49 years old with underlying medical conditions or whose jobs put them at risk are also eligible for a booster shot. Officials at the New Mexico Department of Health say the decision couldn't have come at a better time. We've been working on uh, various contingency plans on how, uh, depending on what was recommended, how would we roll this out? So these plans are in place. When it comes to long-term care facilities, the New Mexico Aging and Services Department will coordinate booster shots to residents and staff who receive the Pfizer vaccine and more distribution plans are in the works. We do adapt that to to uh, the situation here in New Mexico, um, uh, but overall the framework, the way we prioritize, the way we rolled out the vaccine um, follows ACIP recommendations. It's important to note that only the Pfizer booster is available and that neither the CDC or the New Mexico Department of Health recommends mixing a vaccine with a different type of booster shot. Reporting live at Presbyterian Hospital, Brian Albizu, KOAT Action 7 News.